Hello everybody and welcome back to Flop Talk. Today we're going to be going over how to disinfect and select branches for your birds so you can use them for things like toys or perches and play stands. First step is going to be figuring out which branches are in your area. Head out to an analog forest, take pictures of all the leaves and all the barks, and go through and identify some of the plants in your area and find out if they're non-toxic. And when you're looking into trees that are non-toxic, there's a lot to consider. You don't just want to be thinking about one aspect of the plant. And you're going to want to make sure it's actually edible to some degree. These birds will be chewing on it, they may end up swallowing some. And non-toxic and edible are totally different things. Um, so what you're going to want to be looking into is the bark, the sap, the leaves, the seeds, or any flowers that are on the plant. Make sure all of those aren't toxic, that any pollens in the flowers, those aren't an irritant to birds. Look into all the aspects of the plant, do a lot of research into them, and see what you end up finding. You might go to your vet and ask them for a list of plants they might recommend, and start from there. Next what you're going to want to do is you're going to go somewhere that's away from the city. You don't want to be having gas fumes and pesticides and runoff going into the plants and then your birds chewing on those. So you're going to go into like a forest or a hiking trail and you're going to want to go off the path a little bit. You don't want any branches that are low to the ground that might have gotten peed on by dogs or gotten smoke all over them from people walking through the trails. So you're going to want to go off the path a little bit and you're going to want to find a nice clean looking plant. It should be bright, it should be the color it's supposed to be, it shouldn't be really dingy or brown or having bird poop all over it. <laughs> Once you've done that and you've got your collection of branches, you're gonna obviously you're gonna go home and you're just gonna go through them. You're gonna double check that there isn't anything weird on them. Maybe there's a bit of mold you didn't notice before, and you're just gonna remove any bits that you don't really like, or you're gonna start trimming your branches to kind of look the way you'd like them to be, however you want your perches to look. You're just gonna remove anything you don't want. If you don't want leaves, you can pull all your leaves off. And that's basically what you're going to do. You're just going to clean up the branches a bit. Once you've done that and you've got your clean branches and you've trimmed them all down to the size you want them to be, you're going to go ahead and um, start to disinfect them. So there's a couple few methods you can choose to do with this. The first one I'm going to go over is bleaching. Um, for bleaching, what you do basically fill a bathtub, dump in like a quart of bleach, and just shove your branches in there. And you're going to let them soak overnight, you know, maybe eight hours. You just going to want to make sure they're really saturated with the bleach and they're getting disinfected. The purpose of this is just to kill off any bugs or, you know, germs and bacteria and things like that that may have been on the outside of the branch and kind of getting into the surfaces and all the little crevices so nothing transfers to your bird. And Yes, bleach is toxic, which is why it's very important that once this is done soaking, you fill up the tub again with clean, warm water, and you soak the branches again, and then you can wipe them down thoroughly with a cloth until you can't smell bleach anymore. And we're going to leave that one there for now and move on to the next uh, way you can do it. You can either bleach before this, or you can just wipe it down with vinegar. The second method is baking. So what you're going to do is set your oven to around 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So while this preheats, if you haven't bleached them, you're going to want to wipe them down with a cloth and thoroughly get into all the crevices. And you can just wipe them down with vinegar if you're not comfortable using bleach. That's going to get all the surface residue and germs and stuff off of it. Pretty much the same. Bleach tends to be a bit more effective, but this way is non-toxic. Once this is all done and you've wiped out your plants, you're going to put them in the oven for about an hour. I personally put a cookie sheet at the bottom of the oven first just because this helps catch any leaves or debris or whatever that might fall into the bottom of the oven. Then you don't have stuff burning and stuff like that. Obviously, yes, wood is flammable, so do be careful when you do this. Keep an eye on the oven. I haven't had anything catch on fire. It's generally safe, but it's still good to be aware of that and kind of be around. You know, don't go downtown with your oven on with branches in the oven. Just be aware that they're in there and, you know, be cautious. Uh, what baking does is kills anything that's inside the wood a bit more. It kills any bugs that may have burrowed into it or any mildew that may be inside of it or molds that may be underneath the bark and things like that. After that, what you're going to want to do is get a table or something in a bright, hot, sunny day, and you're going to want to put a towel down, you're, you're going to lay your branches there. And you're just going to want to make sure this is a nice raised surface, you're going to want to make sure this isn't somewhere where birds are going to go near it and other animals, you're going to want to bring them in at night so things don't get on it. And the purpose of this is just to let them lay in the UV rays. UV will help kill any, <clears throat> any potential diseases from wild bird populations. The th baking and bleaching do not kill these. You have to leave them in the sun for around a week, so that way it kills off any disease that may have been present when you picked up the branch. 
So that is it for, for choosing and disinfecting branches, the basics of it anyways. Uh, from this point, you could trim them, give them to your bird as toys, use them as perches or foraging, or make a playset out of them. You can do whatever you want with them at this point, but do make sure that when you're getting branches that you clean them very thoroughly, you disinfect them, you leave them in that sun. Make sure that when you choose the branches that they haven't been sprayed with pesticides, that you're aware of exactly what species the plant is, and you've checked its toxicity levels and all that sort of stuff. Make sure that you do not let your bird interact with the branches before you've disinfected them. It's very easy for there to be some disease in the wild populations or bacteria or something that could make your bird ill before you're able to disinfect it. So just make sure you're keeping the branches away from them until after you've thoroughly cleaned them. Once they're all clean, you can let them have at it and have a blast. You can leave the leaves on, you can take them off, you can take the bark off, you can leave that on. It's totally up to you and whatever you want to do. Just make sure you stay safe, you clean everything, and you're aware of where you're getting your sources from. So that is it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!